Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Train Sim Classic and today we are taking out this very nice class 423 uh, EMU in Network South East Livery. This is a proper slam door um, EMU and uh, the scenario that we are doing today is called Last Train Home and it is on the Portsmouth direct line and as you can see it is sort of quite late at night I think it's about 11 o'clock at night something like that and we are doing the last train home uh, I believe this scenario is set around about the sort of 80s uh, that's sort of when these slam door locos were quite quite popular and they were at their peak but yeah I do really like the look of this and these uh, these sort of tubular coach um, sort of EMUs and yeah we will jump into it but before we do I just want to say if you are a new viewer and you haven't already please subscribe down below hit the like button and the notif notification bell all right let's uh, jump in and get started okay here we are inside of the loco and uh, I'm guessing that we do have some cab lights somewhere headlight switch Let's just check. So we've actually turned it off there. So let's turn that back on. Cab light doesn't seem to want to turn on. We might have a master switch somewhere. I'm not too sure. Doesn't look like it. So we actually have no brakes on at the moment, which is a little odd. I was really hoping that we'd have some cab lights. AWS reset. I'm not sure if. No, we've only got the two. So um, I'm not sure if. So we've got a third rail. So we haven't got a pan more about a pantograph. And yeah, we can just get going. Now this isn't a Armstrong powerhouse or just trains or anything. This is actually a, uh, I wonder if we can change field of view. That's better. Uh, this is actually a uh, dovetail product. I'm not too sure when it came out, but this is a dovetail product. We seem to be moving very slow. There we go. I'm guessing it's notched. Yeah, it's notched. So that's our top notch. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed that I can't put on any cab lights. It's just going to be means it's going to be difficult for everybody else to see. Yeah, I can't put any on. So. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to deal with it, but that's fine. And we're going to get a move on here. At least it's not too dark, really. And I think we've actually got, yeah, we've actually got a BR loco on the back there as well. And the horn is all on one. Um, setting. Uh, we're not stopping here, so we're doing six stops. And yeah, this was sort of the dovetail era of locos. I didn't even check if the handbrake was on or not. Um, we might want to check that when we stop next. We can call the guard and everything. But uh, yeah, this was an era of dovetail where the locos didn't really have a lot of features in them and um, on a scenario like this where it's dark it's hard to see I will try and uh, edit it in the um, in the editing software and make it a bit brighter for you but this is just that it, and it's something a bit different as well it's sort of a bit like gloomy dark um, and 
into something a bit different. I sort of saw this scenario on the uh, standard set of scenarios and was just like, I want to give it a go. Uh, if you want to pick this up for yourselves, um, the four, the four, um, four, two, three is actually a separate loco pack on the Steam Workshop. Uh, I will try and leave a link down in the description. And we're going to have to come down here. But yeah, I, uh, it's it's a separate loco pack that's on the Steam Workshop and it's a dovetail product, I believe. Uh, I don't know how old it is. Need this to say. Ooh, that was very loud. <laughs> it's, as you can see, there's just little bits about it that are that are a bit um they're not modern train sim and they're not sort of what the the third party is doing like armstrong powerhouse this was of an era of train sim that you know not every button did anything and um the sounds are a bit off because uh they had to get the sounds from from other um assets and, and whatnot and don't get me wrong, the model looks really good. And it's like we don't have separate horns and whatnot. But generally it looks quite good. We are stopping in a sec. But yeah, I sort of try to um, avoid these um, these older locos mainly because there's not a lot you can do in them, and two, uh, they're not the greatest. And three, I try and avoid these scenarios as well that are take place late at night because you can't see anything really. Um, but I, I just fancy something different for this one. And it looked like an interesting loco um, to to have a go at. But there's quite a lot of um, sort of EMUs that I've got on the um, scenario list uh, from the Steam uh, store um, that you can get that we haven't even touched, so so loud but we will make our way through a lot of them um, I tend to you know I tend to be drawn to the Armstrong powerhouse stuff a lot um, and they do have a really good slam door um, I can't remember what it is but they have a really good slam door EMU up on their store which we haven't actually got yet But in the meantime, this is pretty decent. Sounds like we've got air brakes as well. station we are actually quite a long train today as we've got that BR sort of white stripe liveried um, EMU on the back All right, I just want to check this handbrake don't actually know which way is on and which way is off. Right, 
that would be on. That would be off, I think. So I imagine it is off. I don't know if they'd be that cruel. But we've got no DRA. We've got nothing. Right, next stop isn't far away. And I think we'll get a picture of it on the next station. But yeah, these were the commuter haulers of the uh, like the sort of 1970s, 1980s, they were they put in some eight, absolute work. These did. I don't want to go too fast down here as we're going into a sort of 25. Oh, it looks like we're moving over, so that'd be why it's a 25. It's quite dark actually. And we'll try and get a picture here as well. That'll do us. We'll try and get a picture of it in the station. No, I don't like how all the doors are open. That's not a bad shot. Right, where are we next? Portsmouth Harbour, South Sea. Ah, so I think we're. We might be on the return. Change ends, yeah, so we're doing a return as well. And we'll get a um a Is that it's a 47 carrying some Mark twos, I think that was quite cool. Let's see if we can get a nice shot here, actually. So even though it's quite dark. to Portsmouth Harbour here and then we're just on a short journey back basically
as you can tell the sounds aren't great um, on this there's you know it's playing outside sounds and this was just that era of, of train sim you know everything was just slightly slightly off but uh, it was still still quite cool to have and I, I quite I find it quite cool how we can still play with all this old kit um, from I was gonna say back in the day but it's probably not even that old this <laughs> but you know some games you know don't carry a lot of their a lot of their stuff forward um, You know, a lot of games will say, right, you know, two years of, you know, you're allowed, like, you can use this, and then the next game comes out, and there's, they don't carry over a lot of their stuff. Train Sim, classic. And even Train Sim World, to be fair, I'll give them credit where it's, where it's due. They do carry all their stuff over. So, even if you bought something back in 2015, you can still play it today. And it's it's quite cool. I they carried a lot of stuff over, and that'll do us there. Okay, so we made it to Portsmouth Harbour. We're just picking up passengers. I don't know why we're picking up passengers when we're, we're going to the depot after this, but hey, it is what it is. And we need to switch ends here, so we're in this one. And I believe that we've got a red light because there is actually this guy over here who will be leaving before us or roughly at the same time if not before but um, we can sort of set up what we're, what we're doing in here and uh, a lot of the newer sort of locos would have you shut down the other end of the cab and then set this one up in this sort of old sort of loco like this um, we don't have that we literally just it's done it all for us we literally just um, do what we normally would like I say the features on this are very limited stuff like that it's just adds a bit of realism having to shut down the other end of the uh, the other end of the um, loco and then set this side up we don't have any of that in here and yeah we'll just wait for the time to turn down as you can see it's half 11 at night And yeah, I don't know, technically this should have been the last stop people getting off, but apparently we're picking them up. And then we're going to the depot, which is not really that far away. Apparently we were supposed to get there to part for at... So we are supposed to get there at uh, 22, 12. But uh, three minutes away, I don't know if we're going to make that, to be honest. Uh, this is the signal box, you're clear to run empty back to the depot to stable for the night. Uh, it's a bit confusing, you can't really see the sort of red signal from here, you can if you change over to the that seat. We need to wait for this guy to head out anyway. Because we are sharing the same line. So I would end up running into him if I was to go, but I'll, I, we've got a red anyway. A bit confusing because you can't really tell that that's for us. You think, oh, maybe that's for that line. No, that is for us. And he was quite a long, wow, he is quite a long uh, unit as well. Two, four cars on that, I think. So that's definitely a last train, that one. Technically, we are the last train out of Portsmouth here because we are literally the only one here now. 
We are literally the last train. You see Warrior over there in the back. Yeah, we'll just wait for a green light. I don't know if it's bugged or not, but um, we'll just wait and see if it goes to green. I'm hoping that it does. Oh, we got a yellow. And as you can see, we didn't have to do anything special there. And literally just two buttons and we were away. Uh, that's that's just these old Dovetail Locos. They, like I say, they didn't have a lot of features. So um, you just sort of, it was a lot arcadey back then. It was a lot more um, just you press the button and you go. This is a... Uh, We've, we've got it so much better now. When you look at the products that are coming out now, especially from third parties, you just realise how good we've got it now. Um, yeah, you realise back then that it was just a bit... You know, when we used to play with these back in the day, it was a, it was a different time. But uh, I, like, I like the features that we get now on the newer stuff. Makes it feel more realistic. Seems that first notch doesn't really work unless you sort of do it from a from the stand uh, standing point. See, so yeah, I can go to first notch here, and it doesn't really do anything. I have to go to second notch. But that might be because of the gear ratios. It's like when we're moving or something. It it doesn't. Then again, it's an EMU, so it wouldn't, I don't think it would have gears. I think it would just be the, the amount of electricity that it would send to the motors. I'm not too sure, basically. Um, we have got a red light coming up. Technically, we should be running empty. I don't think we are, no. <laughs> we have got people on here still. So loud that, and we got a yellow. Yeah, even though we're going to the depot, we've got people on board. <laughs> That's train sim for you. It, it, I don't think it can actually. I don't think it can actually put your loco in a state of, or not, not when this came out. You probably could do it now, but. I don't think you can put the loco in a state of like not in use when nobody gets on and it's completely empty. I don't think that's how it works. Um, that's for us, that red. There is a loco in front. As you can see. There's a bit of a queue to get into the depot, I think, and here. Because he's in front. He's got a yellow now. Oh, he's just... He's out of red. I don't know, either way, he's heading off. And there's someone coming in. Oh, it's all hustle and bustle, even though it's late night here. Moving locos around. Yeah, we just gotta wait patiently. We're not too far off now, to be fair. And it's been quite an enjoyable little uh, night drive in the four two three. Don't know why there's so many people about at 20 to 12 just on the platforms. They got nowhere to go.
and our next signal is red, so we are going to have to... Oh, no, it's just gone green. Excellent. Technically, you wouldn't use the horn this late at night, especially around a residential area. Um, that would be a big no-no. But um, in the world of train sim, no one's going to complain. It's just bad practice. You just wouldn't use the horn at this late at night. Uh, we have got a double yellow. There is a train. No, that's not on our tracks, so we are good. I'm just trying to trust the signals at the moment. Yeah, we're good. So, I don't know if he's parking up there for the night or if uh, he's going to be going into the depot as well. Not entirely sure. But our next signal here. We've been given the road, actually. As you can see, those little dots there mean we have been given the road. So I think we're going to be going in front of him here. Yeah. So we've been given the road. He's waiting for us to go into the depot. By the looks things. And then he will probably follow us in. Um, next signal is red. I'm just going to continue going for it though. And so I don't see why it would be red. There's nothing in front of us, but apparently we've got to stop here first before we carry on. This might be like a sort of inspection or something, I'm not too sure why we would stop here. But uh, we've just got to stop here quickly. Uh, we're about to enter the depot, please make sure all manual junctions are set before proceeding into 7. Right, so we, we haven't done this for a while. Um, Right, where's seven? So there's seven. So currently we are going down here. Going down here and into seven. So it's already been done for us. So I don't know why it's sort of um, implied that we needed to set them. It was, I guess it's just good practice to make sure that they are actually set. I could have just seen it down here where it says 7. If it said something else, it wouldn't have been set right. But I guess it's just good practice, really, to um, have it set right. And these passengers are probably thinking, where are we going? <laughs> Why are we going into the depot? <laughs> you kind of have to imagine they're not there. I mean, Alan Thompson said a really interesting thing, actually. He said uh, in one of his live streams that he would prefer it if the AI passengers didn't exist, if they were just taken out completely. Um, AI passengers don't do it for him, which I sort of get that, but at the same time, I feel like without them, it just wouldn't, wouldn't feel right. You know, it's a hard balance to make, hard balance. I think at some point they will try and do like an AI passenger uh, enhancement pack Armstrong Powerhouse or something like that. Um, I just have a feeling that passengers will get updated at some point, either by Dovetail or by a third party, just so they it's they're a lot better. And here we go into the depot for the evening. We should be finishing around about 12 o'clock.
and we have all objectives complete. And there's passengers on that one, look there as well. <laughs> They're there until tomorrow, they ain't going anywhere. But it's quite cool actually that we get to do this. Um, actually, like, you know, taking the loco back to the shed, to the depots and parking it up. You know, it's very rare that we actually get to do stuff like this in, in Train Sim. So, definitely something different and pretty cool. And that's us. Alright, let's jump outside the loco and see so how we So, that is us parked up at the depot. As you can see, we have a little ramp to get off. And this was the class... 423 EMU in Network Southeast Livery. And the scenario was called Last Train Home. It was on the Portsmouth direct line. Really enjoyed this one. Nice little drive. Uh, interesting at night. And yeah, if you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.